Hi, welcome to our channel. Still battling building this house. Uh, still the timber works, of course. It's gonna be timber work for a while now. So let's see how we're progressing on, on this one. So don't go away and enjoy. Still making a big load of uh, UNL, so this is what I need to do. Those one, this quantity, and um, already chop some off. And then I will I will bend them after that. archaic <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> at least I don't have to bend down doing things especially for my back so I'm gonna keep going doing this now guys Start raining now, damn it. But they still keep going. It's only the drizzle, I guess. Okay, they made a mistake. They should have put the support beam on the outside, not the inside. Uh, now you cannot remove it because you put all the joisting already. So we lost one support beam. So we have to put another one there, which means we're going to be short to do those one here. But that's the kind of thing that happens sometimes. Not much we can do. So anyway, I'll have to get some more two by six to finish the porch so I don't worry about the porch we can do that later so yeah I got some two by four more of that that I need but the timber is still fresh I need to wait quite a while to for the timber to dry and move around and expand and shrink or what have you yeah <clears throat> it's okay we can do all the other things in the meantime a lot of work to do still Got to do all the walls, so yeah, no problem there. Always something to do. And we could eventually do the floor here once we put some joist across here. But yeah, I think I like to start the floor when the house is all locked up, all closed, all the walls down. Then we do the inside. And where the wall's gonna be, well, I'll tell you honestly, I don't know yet. I'm going to put some uh, mahogany walls, a uh, five by one, vertically placed, or are we going to just buy some some boards, hardy flakes, something like that? Not sure yet. Yeah. I haven't made up my mind. <laughs> All depends how the budget's going, because if I put mahogany all around and I buy it, because there's none around here now. That's going to be like 45 to 50,000 pesos just for the wall, the outside wall. It's okay, it's affordable and, and I like actually. It's, you know, I got those little slight little uh, opening that give a bit of a pull, if you like, to the house. 
But if I put a deflect all around, it's, that's it, the house is all locked up. Any heat coming in doesn't go out easily. But I'm not going to do any ceiling. It's going to go all up to the roof. All open, open roof. I want to keep this house as cool as possible. I don't want to use aircon or anything like that. But today the weather is really beautiful. I mean, you sit in the veranda there and with a coffee, the weather is really great. Not yet, maybe in May. I hope. And uh, before I put the wall, uh, before I put the roof on, I like to do a French drain all around here. Going at the front of the property. See, I can't do nothing now. It's stuff everywhere. But that will be done. Although I didn't see much water running here, so uh, we're still gonna do it. Okay, so after that, there's still more uh, five more posts, three for the veranda and two here. Yeah, it's looking good. In the meantime, I'm still working on the U nails. Come on, Joe, move on. You haven't done much today. Oh, big rain, huge, huge tropical rain for 10 minutes. I uh, filled up those blankets so easy, of course. So I need to get this tank on position and do my French drain around the base of the house. And they're back to work, just drizzling a little bit now. Oh well, shit happens. Um, I just went back home for lunch and uh, this is what's happening. And the supervisor rang to say that it's raining so much, so we will uh, start again tomorrow. So today is over. It's nice to be back home with my princess in her new swing bed. <laughs> you wake her up. Everybody in action. Whoa, really? <clears throat> Anyway, it's pretty much the same today. Just put in those posts at the top there and building the, all the joists. Yes. Okay, last post to be put on position, guys. So, I think you'll be happy after that. It's probably the hardest job so far. But the way we did, it's not too hard as such. 
at least they can stand on top of the timber there. Then we've got to start thinking, finishing those joists and putting some floor in. I got the floor here. This is a one by four. So I bought a planner and uh, yeah, we may, we may try to finish our bedroom there first, maybe. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, let's make a little bit of a floor there to actually install the joist. And I help as much as I can. All this timber for the roof actually, but <clears throat> we can use them now for that. So many. It's quite amazing how agile they are. I need more or more of those. I'm the one making all the new nails. Uh, we're going to use a liquid nail as well. Uh, once again, this is not looking good at all. It's start draining, so it's going to be another half day or something. Yeah, that's the way it is. Start or anybody keep working. Okay, time to go to land once again for another day build. But it's always hard to leave. My little two princess, here they are. Hello. Hello, good morning. Hello, baby. Bye bye. See you soon. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, my love. Okay. So while I was away yesterday afternoon, they start building the scaffolding and everything to work on the top side of the house. And there's no power, guys. This is why we're doing all the cutting manually for those uh, beam to sit on. That's a bit of a bummer, but that's the way it is. <clears throat> and in deep logs of sand, there's no power this morning. So I won't be making any U nails. Okay, I received a hundred of uh, advice on uh, this system and I appreciate, I appreciate everybody. Uh, if I can't use use those uh, system uh, recommended, at least maybe someone watching this video will follow it. For me, it's a bit too late to follow some of your recommendation, and I can understand. Um, but definitely, I'm going to reinforce all that one way or another. Even if I have to attach uh, the supporting beam to the concrete uh, piers. Whatever I need to do more than what I've done there, and I think the best way would have been probably at least to put some groove on those rebar and have those uh, <coughs> U-nail sit inside those grooves. That would have helped. And uh, it's funny, somebody said to me, "Why don't you put uh, liquid nail?" 
And why not? I mean, when I own a furniture business, I use liquid nail a lot and it's very, very, very powerful, very strong. It will help, it may help 10%, so be it. 20, better, 30, even better. But liquid nail can be, um, can be of some help here. So anyway, we, what we've got, uh, we'll see what we can do. But welding something across on this post is uh, welding a piece of uh, metal from one river to another would have been possible here. But in most uh, posts, those river are all over the place and I can't do that. So gonna have, it would have been very difficult to achieve that. And besides, it's too light. I should have done that before. So let's do the, let's do the reinforcement a different way. But it will be done. Now, I just put a picture of what people do in the area. Now, is that scary? Yes, it is scary, but the house is still there. The roof is still there. It's amazing. You know, we guys in the Western world are uh, overkilling all building design, especially building and engineering. It's overkill, definitely. I mean, I was an engineer and uh, I designed a lot of parts for the car industry. A hundred, 10 times more than what we need, really. But that's the way it is. That's the way it is in the Western world. But we're in the Philippines here, and I can see they're very simpler, cheaper, and it's working. Run out, shit. Can't win. Ran. Absenteeism. Ran out. Drunkness. <laughs> uh, funeral. Always something stuff us up. It doesn't matter if I get more people like some people have been saying on the comment section get more people what for if there's no power here we i get stuff and i need to fit six seven people for what and it's very hard to get control of it so i'm not going to take any more workers you see everybody's got a, a particular task to achieve and that's it i don't need more i can't do anything more now so why we take eight, nine, ten people. It's ridiculous. Plus, I'm short of timber, so we need to get some more cut. I need to buy more. I got a list there, so... Yeah, I thought the 70,000 or so pesos and timber would have been done, but we still got a, we still got a lot of missing for the joist, <coughs> the walls, and also the... I would like to do the finish wall, outside wall in mahogany, red, you know, it, I think that will look very nice with the green corrugated roof. Yeah, that's the way I like, I like Filipino style and yeah. The Cirque du Soleil, <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah, no power, so I have to do everything by hand at the moment. Brown out, black out, whatever you call it. Yes, we'll put a bolt through there, so don't worry about it, don't need to comment. <laughs> Definitely. It's looking good, pretty well aligned. Good. 
uh, doing the sides now. movie <laughs> okay now I'm cutting some groove on the ribbar uh, and we look at the U nails on those groove and we'll add some liquid nail as well ah, my supervisor said we can build a roof next week but I don't know I need to do the drainage first I don't want and I need a organize my water tank so drainage and water tank organized then we build the roof otherwise gonna have a uh, tons of water running through here from the roof I don't want that Smile. <laughs> okay we start installing the trusses now so it's good get in there I know what you're gonna say don't bother commenting on certain things this is not USA this is not Canada this is not UK this is not Australia this is the Philippines and standards are different people work in a different way I know already so don't bother Okay, I got some timber missing <clears throat> so I've done a list of what I need and uh, I gave that list to this gentleman who already supply us with all the timber here so far for the house and last time I paid 33 pesos per board foot they call it yeah and uh, he came up with a price just now of 40 pesos uh, per board foot now it's price gone up yeah <laughs> apparently it's because the tree is down the river and it's got a high some carabao to bring all the trees up to the road <clears throat> so there's an extra cost so what do i do because uh i can buy for 25 peso instead of 40 to the uh the local uh, business here and uh, but it's not Bakan, it's Santol. I think Santol is a stronger, a tougher timber than Bakan. And they charge me yeah, 25 pesos. But the only problem with them is that they cut, it's not really good. This gentleman who's been supplying me uh, has been doing quite a good job, and every cut has to the right size, and everything is square and two size. I guess that's important so instead of 9,900 we'll pay 12,000 pesos so uh, 3,000 pesos worth for not having any any issue uh, maybe yes maybe I do that because I can't afford any more um, problem here and there it's really slowing things down so I may have to go for it price of the house I will put something in uh, in due time but it is higher than my budget but my budget was based on my architect and his prices are really ridiculous so uh, the house gonna cost more than expected and, and I guess that was expected <laughs> but uh, maybe 350k maybe at this stage um, 
timber will be about 120 130k that's if i put mahogany all around for the walls which is really nice and uh, maybe we do bamboo on the inside i saw some houses uh, on pinterest and other website and it's all bamboo inside it's beautiful and uh, not a little thin slice bamboo i, I want to cut a little bit bigger and be strong and when you let it dry it become uh, some kind of a creamish color and then when you vanish it's really beautiful and i don't want to do all my internal like that but interior sorry i don't want to do all my interior like that but only the bedroom the bedroom will be the separation from the bedroom to the rest of the house will be in Hardy Flex. That's probably what I'm going to use. Uh, so that's a bit of an update on uh, those uh, <clears throat> uh, timber costs and house costs. But it's moving along and I'm happy. Just going up all the time.